Assalamu alaikum sisters welcome to Kanem English and my name is Baba Kuramudu Remember in our previous class we have learned the adjectival clause and now we are going to look at the adverbial clause first what is an adverbial clause an adverbial clause is a group of words that has subject and verb combination and does the work of an adverb I remember adverbial clause modifies the verb in the main clause as it gives information to the verb. So the clause usually start with before, when, where, after, since, because, and so. So we are going to explain this under the four or five types of adverbial clause. So we have adverbial clause of time in which we have before, when, after, as soon as, since, until, while, as, whenever, so all these are under adverbial clause of time that tell us about time. Then adverbial clause of place, the second one, where and wherever, this is under the adverbial clause of place. Then adverbial clause of reason, we have because, as, we have since, we have for. Then adverbial clause of condition, we have if, and, unless. Then finally, under adverbial clause of contrast, we have though and although. So let's take the first one, which is the adverbial clause of time. This kind of clause tells us more about time, particularly when you ask the question when. And most of the time does the work of a verb. Example, I left the school after I taught my class English language. So when do you leave the class? after i taught my my student english language so this after i taught my student english telling us more about the verb left in the independent clause in the second example ibrahim painted the kitchen when he had completed the living room so it is when he completed the living room that he painted the kitchen so that is the time when he painted that kitchen then the second example we have a adverbial clause of place the couple danced where no one could see them. So where did they dance? That means the place where people can, could not see them. So this one is telling us about place. So where no one could see them is the dependent clause and tell us the place where he, they were, they danced. People laughed at him wherever he goes. Where did the people, wherever he goes, that means people laugh at him. So this wherever he goes is, is the dependent clause because we have the trigger here wherever he goes. Then let's look at the adverbial clause of reason. This one tells us the reason why you perform an action. She is no longer sad because she reads the Quran every morning. So the, the reason why she is not sad is that she reads the Quran every day. So this is the adverbial clause of reason. Then I will never visit her since she broke up with me. So the reason why I will not visit her is what? She broke up with me so this one is a adverbial clause of reason since she broke up with me is the dependent clause then the the fourth example is a adverbial clause of condition umar will not accept the offer unless the condition are very attractive this statement has the condition if you want me to accept the offer unless the what unless you have good condition then I, I will only go there if the security is good enough that means the condition is if the security is good enough, I will go there. So this is a adverbial clause of condition. Then the final example we have a adverbial clause of contrast. Though I took the taxi, I was late for the school. So this one is contradicting. I, I took taxi and I went there late. So this one is two statements that are contradicting, that are contrary to each other. Then the second example, although she is 75 years old, she is beautiful. You said she is beautiful and the, the second statement is contradicting. You said although she is 75. Imagine someone with 75 years and you said she is beautiful again. So this case, we have two sentences that contradict with each other. They are contrary to each other. Therefore, this one is a adverbial clause of contrast. So that's the end of today's lesson. And I hope you enjoyed it. Inshallah, the next lesson is also going to be an interesting topic for you. My name is Mr. Bob Kramuru. Until then, Salaam Alaikum.